I don't know if you all remember this fruitcake. His name is Ethan Schmidt. Uh, Schmidt, excuse me. And he was like, I don't know if he was a surrogate for Carrie Lake. Uh, he considered himself a friend of Carrie Lake. I don't know how true that is. There are pictures of them together. But this dude went viral over the summer of last year because he was just needlessly harassing PetSmart employees during Pride. Uh, and he was lambasting them because they had a rainbow flag at one of the cashiers. And so uh, he's back, seemingly at the same PetSmart, and he's just harassing them again. Like, this dude is a freak, and he genuinely needs a hobby uh, and to get a life, but let's uh, let's see what he says this time. Smart. See if they still have that pride flag up. Yeah, okay, so it is the same PetSmart. I haven't seen this yet, obviously. Uh, why do you care this much about a fucking pride flag? Brother... You need to move on with your life, okay? Not only do you need to stop being concerned with what other people do in the privacy of their own homes, but you need to not be so easily triggered by a f***ing multicolored piece of cloth. I mean, I don't think that there's ever been anything so dumb take up any amount of mental space. I mean, can you imagine a piece of cloth making you that enraged? To where you not only harass employees because you see that piece of cloth, but then you return uh, a little less than a year later to check up and make sure that they removed the piece of cloth that offended you so much. It's it's just it's so fucking unhinged. You guys still have that pride flag up? Yes, I do. Why is that? Um, you guys are pedophiles? No, we're not. LGBT fascists? Oh my god. They're just so unbothered by him, which tells me that he goes in frequently to check up. Oh, well, I'm, I'm driving by PetSmart. Better go harass them real quick just to see if they still have the flag up. I just... I, I, I refuse to believe that people like this actually exist. Like, it's it's so unreal that if this dude were a fictional character, I think it was written too unrealistically. Like, holy shit. We're with the LGBT dude. Of course you are, because you're with the destruction of America. Because look at you, you're wearing a mask. Can I get someone to the front, please? Do you guys, do you guys support LGBT? I'm just buying dog food. I know, but do you support LGBT? <laughs> I'm just buying dog I'm just buying dog food. Leave me the fuck alone. You guys are never gonna take that flag down after the after the you know my video got 10 million views last time. Your video went viral because the overwhelming majority of people who saw it were laughing at you and they thought that you were an unhinged fruitcake. He's bragging about himself going viral. You literally went viral because people were so shocked at how unbelievably petty you are to harass these minimum wage employees over again. A piece of multicolored cloth. Yeah, of course you did. Because you guys are Democrats, liberals. The manager got an award for the video. That's all. So this is actually a relatively wholesome update. These folks, they don't even care. Like anyone who works there, they probably just expect him to come in. So they're unbothered. He's just going to put a camera in their faces, say a bunch of like fascistic talking points and then move on. But they handle it well every single time. And I think that he believes that he's going to be perceived as the hero and maybe in his little bubble, that is true. But the overwhelming majority of people, I would argue even like homophobic people just aren't on your side because this is just weird. It's just weird. Like, even if you're a homophobe, how can you agree with the way that he's going about this? And I say this because, does anyone remember back in, like, 2009, 2008, there was one of the higher-ups at some corporation, I don't remember what, but um, it was during the beginning of the Chick-fil-A scandals when we learned that they were donating to anti-LGBTQ plus causes or politicians. Uh, I don't remember the specifics, but anyways, this dude who was part of some corporate board... He harassed a minimum wage worker where he just went through the drive through ordered a water, and he said that that minimum wage worker should be ashamed of herself for working at a homophobic organization. And guess what? 
Everyone was against him, even the people who theoretically agreed with him, even myself, who is a member of the LGBTQ plus community, because that's not the kind of advocacy that I want. You are harassing a minimum wage worker who doesn't make these decisions. And even if that worker was like personally homophobic, she's just there to do her job and doesn't deserve the harassment. So, like, I would imagine that homophobes, at least most of them, if they're reasonable, which they're probably not reasonable since they're homophobes, but a homophobe is probably cringing looking at this because it's like, oh, you know, I, I too hate the gays, but this isn't the best way to promote our cause. Like, they've got to be thinking this, right? But he thinks he's he's getting some dubs here when this is, like, a massive L. Like, posted on your website? No, it wasn't, but it just got around, like, so much. Like, there's a lot of coverage. So I'm sure yeah, it got, it got a lot of press. It got a lot of press. That is 90%. You know, th that, that flag is a flag of Satan, and, you know, I'm sick I'm of it. I'm going to ask you to leave again. You're going to ask me to leave? Yes. Oh. Look at that. She, her, hers, guys. Look at that. Okay, please wow. leave now. Alright, I'll be back in June. I'll be back in June. It'll still be up. I'll be calling the police. Oh, I'll call the police. Mimicking them. Are you, you know, four? RIP Arizona, RIP USA. If you don't like it, leave it. Get the f out then. Move to Saudi Arabia. I mean, look. This dude, absolutely homosexual. One of the gayest people ever, all right? And I say this because nobody thinks about this shit that much. As a gay dude myself, I don't think about homosexuality as much as he does. Like, if you're this obsessed, you're telling on yourself. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is an unfortunate pause for him. It's unrealistic to care about other people's sex lives yourself if you're this against it like nobody thinks about these things that much it's just it's such a it's such a tell man they're calling the police on me oh, oh. Uh, i'm not scared that they're calling the police leaves before the police come dude they shouldn't have to do this like he's already saying well i'll be back in june okay you know what get a restraining order on him permanently ban him from coming into the store. The employee shouldn't have to put up with this, even though they're not bothered by it very much because they know that he's just a troll. They shouldn't have to be bothered with this. The customer shouldn't have to deal with this. It, it's just so ridiculous. Wow, oh, the destruction of America is nice, isn't it? It is. Uh, how are you it's guys beautiful. enjoying the end times? I love it. You guys enjoying? Yes. I, I owned them. <laughs> I went into the store with the camera up in their face, and I'm like, hey, why do you support the Satan flag? Gotcha! What a f***ing clown. Holy shit. Tremendous, 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 tremendous